Hi Libra, welcome to the channel and welcome to your weekly reading. Um, I have pre-shuffled the cards already and laid them all out just to save us a little bit of time. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you are new here, please consider subscribing. It really does help to get the message out to more people or to people that perhaps need to hear it. Okay, so on that note, let's begin. Starting off as your overall energy, we have the High Priestess coming out in the reverse. So, upright, this can represent mystery, all that type of thing. But in the reverse, there might be some form of secret that is coming out during this week. For others of you, this may indicate some form of hidden agenda that somebody has, perhaps, some kind of deception or something that isn't truthful going on during this week and perhaps you are going to now find out about this so I really would suggest that you go with your gut on this one follow your intuition and your psychic abilities because they are going to lead you in the right direction that is where you're going to find the truth in the situation okay then starting off the week with the six of swords over here some of you uh, could be physically traveling somewhere, moving somewhere, going on a journey somewhere. And then for others of you, this is just indicating that you are moving from choppy waters to much calmer waters. It's smooth sailing from here on out. So there could be some form of journey going on for you on Monday or this week. You're feeling like things are a lot calmer in your life. Then on Tuesday, we've got the Lover's card. So this could mean that there is a really important choice that you need to make in your life on Tuesday. It doesn't have to be towards a love relationship. It can be a choice in anything in your life, but it's a big choice. It's going to change your life um, depending on which choice you make. So a really big choice to make on Tuesday. For some of you, this could indicate a love relationship where you are spending the day with a lover, something like that. Communicating a lot with a love partner, um, just being with a love partner on Tuesday. So you'll have to take that as it resonates in your life. Then on Wednesday, we've got the Eight of Cups. So... There's something on Wednesday that you are walking away from and this could have been something really emotional that you attached yourself to emotionally but it's not bringing you enough anymore. It's not bringing you that emotional satisfaction anymore. You have got to a point where you need to find more in your life. For some of you, you could be walking away from a love partnership Um it can, I mean, you've got three cards that indicate travel here. So you could be walking away from something to move to something new physically. So you could be leaving, for example, leaving home. You know, your home is something that you're emotionally attached to, but you are needing to grow some more here. So that's just an example for some of you. But she is walking towards the sun over there. So you're walking towards better things in your life. So you're letting go of something that doesn't serve you anymore and you're walking away from it and leaving some form of old reality to get to something new, something more emotionally fulfilling for you. Then on Thursday, we've got the Nine of Wands coming out in the reverse. We had this for the sign before you for Gemini. So this could indicate that you have been through some form of battle in your life. It is the wounded warrior. So you could be dealing with a physical wound, some of you. Um, for others of you, it's just a battle that you've been going through. And the Nine of Wands in the reverse is saying, don't give up on this. Don't give up on yourself. Really try to stay resilient and determined to get to the end of this. So you need to be really strong on Thursday and let go. 
perhaps of old stories and things like that that have been holding you back. Then on Friday, we have the full card there. So again, another indication of some new adventure that you're going on. Some form of travel, perhaps a journey, a new journey, stepping into the unknown here, but having the faith that everything is going to turn out okay. So a lovely, lovely energy for the weekend. You're feeling quite free of something there and ready to go on this new adventure. Underneath the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So upright, it is all to do with teamwork, working well in a team. So in the reverse, it can mean the opposite um, difficulties happening within teamwork. Some form of disharmony going on within a group of people, perhaps that work together, something like that. But there is some form of difficulty working with others this week. Perhaps that's why you are walking away from something and starting this whole brand new journey. And perhaps this has been the major choice that you have had to make to walk away from something that isn't satisfying you anymore. Perhaps because people aren't cooperating, they're not working together well. So you're now starting this whole new adventure and this whole new journey this week. So really follow your gut on this one, as I say. Um, follow your intuition because it's going to lead you in the right direction there. So let's pick a color card now for you and see what further information we can get. Just some last piece of advice for the week. For our Libra collective, please. So as I say, for some of you, this could be to do with a love relationship or this could be to do with some form of work thing that is going on for you that you're perhaps leaving behind. And it's been quite a difficult decision, but you are moving to much calmer waters. So we've got the pink dragon, which is called Inner Child. So let's read that one from the book for you. Okay, pink dragon. Inner Child. We all have an inner child within us that from time to time needs to be acknowledged and allowed to express his or her needs. When we ignore the inner child's needs, it tends to get our attention by preventing us from doing life in an adult manner. You might develop sugar cravings and gain weight, for example, or spend money you don't have and be in debt. So you need to become aware of which aspect in your life is still being run by the wounded inner child that limits your potential for an abundant life. The inner child helps you to take time out to play and have fun with life. Without the healthy inner child, life would be boring and dull and far too serious. Use the pink dragon energy to help you create joyful activities in your life. Where you feel the inner child is still wounded, sulky or stubborn, use the pink dragon to help the inner child know that it is loved and heard. This dragon is nicknamed the Disney dragon because she brings cheerfulness, spontaneity and fun as her gift to humanity. So I think by the end of the week you are finding that fun and spontaneity again in your life and just going on this brand new adventure, starting something brand new. This full card is very childlike and innocent and taking that leap of faith, as I say, into the unknown, but very positive about the whole thing. So really work with your inner child this week. There may be a child in your life that is perhaps leaving home, going on a journey somewhere. That's just for a few of you. But for others of you, I'm just feeling that by the end of the week, you are moving towards more playfulness in your life and not so much seriousness. 
moving away from all these difficulties that you've been experiencing and going towards something that is really going to bring you far more joy in your life. So I really like this energy for you Libra. Please leave me a comment to let me know if it resonated and maybe you want to come back at the end of the week just to see how it resonated with you. Um, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed the reading and found it helpful. And I will hopefully see you all in the next one. Bye.